I, I actually think, I don't know the best way to put this, but maybe that the Q phenomenon, whoever Q was, was a Trump campaign psyop, a Trump insider. Maybe Dan Scavino, the guy who's done such a great job of running President Trump's uh, social media campaigns, um, to energize his base, to push out information that much of it ultimately came true. Talk about uh, the FISA warrants, the Russian collusion stuff. This this Q uh, posts were spot on when it came to most of that stuff. Where do you fall with that? You think I'm crazy that I think this is maybe Trump inspired or who do you think Q really is? I think you're right on. And when, when you use the term PSYOP, uh, that that tends to have a, a negative connotation for a lot of people because Q has been accused of being a CIA PSYOP. Um, right. So we're talking about a psychological operation. Uh, if you know anything about military intelligence, uh, they use both uh, positive and negative psychological operations. A psychological operation is just an operation using information to change the way people think. It can be for better or worse. I mean, the first message that Jesus preached was uh, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Well, that word repent is the word metanoia, Greek, two, two Greek words combined. And it literally means change your way of thinking. Mm -hmm. All right. Jesus was a psyop from God. <laughs> he, <laughs> he came to earth to change the way we think. Right. And you're right. I think that Q is, is, a, is an operation supported by Trump and the military to change the way people think about the mainstream media, about culture, about institutional corruption, uh, 